Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to today's Daily Boost. I'm yours truly, Dr. Charles and Nathan here. And I am looking forward to a Wow Wednesday. That's what we're going to call it from now on. Instead of Wonders Wednesday, we'll call it a Wow Wednesday. It's going to be a great day and good things are bound to happen to you today. This is your day and this is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. You know, I want to I want to think about um, give you a, a scripture. The Bible says in Hebrews thirteen eight, Jesus Christ is still the same yesterday, today, and forever. What he did back then, he continues to do today. So I want to welcome you, and um, we have amazing things happening. Um, like I say, this is Wild Wednesday, and uh, we are looking forward to having you join us uh, at the Power School of Miracles coming up very very soon um, you need to register for that you go to psom.org you want to register for the power school let's call eternity now eternity now so we are going to be here live and direct for the power school of miracles if you can come by planes trains you can come by boring machines whatever it is make your way here and uh, we would love to have you we have amazing speakers we have uh, some of the people that have been speaking we have our Paul's 11 weeks, we have Prophet Effie Emmanuel, Tom and Susan Scarella, we have Dr. Dada, myself, and we have amazing, great musicians coming. Happy Guitar is going to be here. We have also um, some amazing people that are going to join us. Um, we have uh, Courtney Fatlin, and of course, Kingdom Embassy, Johnny leading the team. They're all going to be here, the em Embassy team, and uh, we're looking forward to that. And uh, I want to welcome all of you that are watching me from around the world. I see we have Stella, Stella Chinyere, God bless you. We have Umi watching from the embassy right in Nairobi. Welcome on board. Uh, Kenya family in the house, she says. And we have Barbara Egan, God bless you. We have Terry Lynn from Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Welcome on board. We have Birgit from uh, Kingdom Embassy, the embassy in Copenhagen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And we have Marjorie all the way from the embassy in Dubai. The embassy in Dubai. Welcome. <laughs> Still, I say finally. And uh, we have, of course, I don't want to miss anyone. We have Martha from the UK, from London. That's the embassy in, in London and Conworld. Uh, I know. So we have Barbara. God bless you. Welcome on board. Lucille all the way from Canada, Kelowna, and uh, Kelly Allen, God bless you, and I'm so glad you all have joined me today. I want you to do a few things, share this with other people around the globe, um, your list and everything else. We have Alexander, God bless you, from Westerfoot, uh, in the Netherlands. Welcome aboard. We have Mark Rosen, God bless you, and uh, Wade, all the way from Jamaica. Welcome aboard. So I am excited today. Part of it is um, so many things are happening daily around us. And um, um, I don't know whether I should get her to share her testimony. One of our daughters, <laughs> I see Risa, I says, Daddy looking spiffy. Oh, God, my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. One of um, our daughters in the house here, God has been doing great things. Uh, she will get to share her testimony sometime uh, very soon. Uh, she was given uh, admissions to do her PhD in, in the United States from Nigeria. She was given to her PhD at Kent State University. I would like her to share her testimony of how God provided everything that she needed for the trip. Everything. God is supplying everything. And it is exciting to know what God is doing. And by the way, sound from heaven, we are loading, things are happening, so you get yourself ready. Good things are happening, great things are happening. But I will let her share her testimony sometime, how, how, how those things, I want, I want to make sure that we have everything um, um, for them to share it themselves. And it's going, to be, it's going to be amazing, it's going to be amazing. But praise God. I'm, I'm talking about learning to live a yes in your life. How to attract the very best out of life. I want you to be able to go. We are point uh, part 10. 
um, we were talking again about how to attract the best of life. The best of life. What it means to get the best out of life, how to attract that. And I say to you, you have to learn to live with a yes in your life. A yes in life. And I said, you can't go anywhere with no's and no's and no's. No, but you go places with a big yes happening in your life. Yes is very invigorating. In other words, it inspires you and it uplifts you. I'm saying to you, God is saying yes to your dreams. God is saying yes to your big idea. God is saying yes to you making a, a, a comeback making a turnaround and God is saying yes to you I want to encourage you God is saying yes to your finest dreams it doesn't matter how long it's been it doesn't matter how long you've been struggling today is the day the struggles are over God is saying yes to you learn to live with a yes and act on the yes take that bold step and act on the yes in life acting on the yes in life it will change everything you're doing it will change everything you're doing you find out that god has big ideas concerning you yes you i'm talking to you today that are listening to me god has big ideas concerning you maybe you've lost some things you've gained some things but your value is priceless your value is unlimited your value is what god paid to redeem and to restore and to revive and to renew you so that you can be the new you the bible says in ephesians 2 verse 10 i said we are his workmanship i like that word it says we are his workmanship we are created in christ jesus for good works it says created in christ jesus unto good works which God had ordained that we should walk in. Do you know you were designed for the good life? Do you realize you were called to do big things? You were called to do exciting things in life. Life does not have to be a drag. Life can be exciting again. Are you, are you with me? You begin to understand that God has amazing thoughts and ideas concerning you. That's what the world doesn't tell you. Now, most people point out your failures, point out your fears, point out a lot of other things that you've done in the past. But I have good news today. God is saying that you are his workmanship. That word, workmanship, it actually means you are God's masterpiece. In other words, there is nobody else like you in the whole wide world. Really? You said, me? How can, how can I be so unique? There is, you're not a, a copy of somebody else. You are an original. You are a masterpiece. You are a wonder and you are assigned to your world. When you begin to think like that, it releases energy into your world. And at the, at the embassy here, one of the things we want to make sure is let people understand what God thinks of them. What God has put in them and what God has planned for them. What he thinks of you, what he has put in you, and what plans he has for your future. That means what he thinks about you, regardless of your past, God thinks you are still his masterpiece. And what God has put in you, you contain God. You are a carrier of the very life and nature of a deity. The Bible says that you're partakers of his divine nature. That means from today, make up your mind, no more sicknesses for me. No more pain, no more, no more disappointments. I focus on the good news. Now, somebody was saying to me, but you don't get disappointed in life? I said, no, I stopped getting disappointed a long time ago. Do you know what raises disappointment? What brings about disappointment? I can tell in a simple way. Is when you have expectations that are not met, that's when you have disappointment. I've learned to live life without expecting anything from anybody. My source is him. And when people do things for me, I am so happy. I'm so glad that they're doing it. But I don't expect, oh, I don't expect anything from anybody. Why is that? 
I don't want to put that kind of burden on any human, on any person, to make them want to satisfy a particular need. No. What I do is I believe the best about them, and people respond to the best, and they give you the very best that God has put in them. In other words, my expectations are Godward. In other words, I look to Him, and I'm changed. And whatever people do for me, I am very grateful. I'm very appreciative because I know the, the motivation is love, releasing that which they contain to make my world better. But I don't want to put that kind of expectations on them. I want you to realize what God thinks of you. He doesn't think about your mistakes. He doesn't think about your past. He thinks about what Jesus has made available to you. And you now can run with it and see big things happening again. Are you with me? You begin to find out God all the things of good things in you. He has put his very best. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21. He said he became sin who knew no sin. So that we can become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Now I don't know whether we have the living Bible translation of that scripture. The living Bible translation puts it this way. He took all of Christ's goodness and emptied it into us. And all of our sins were emptied into Christ. In other words, you now are containing all that God is. God was in Christ, but now Christ is in you. Hallelujah. God in Christ, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Are you with me? So that's what God thinks of you. And what plans does he have for you? Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you. He says, I know my plans for you. Plans for good things. Plans for wonderful things to happen. In all the words, God does not want you struggling. He wants you enjoying plenty. The only reason why we will struggle is when we don't understand what we are called to do. He said, For I know the thoughts that I have towards you, saith the Lord, the thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. Let's put that in another translation, the Amplified Version. So that we can see what God says about us. Hallelujah. You see, it says, For I know the thoughts and the plans that I have for you. Do you realize that God wants to reveal those things to you? And he's doing that through his word. As I am speaking to you, the plans of God will be unfolding. You'll begin to see what God thinks of you, what he, what he has made available to you, and then you can walk in absolute victory today. Are you with me? So when you understand this, something beautiful begins to take place on the inside. It begins to lift you up and cause you to run with you soar on the eagle's wings. Are you with me? Hear what it says. It says, Thoughts and plans for your welfare and peace and not of evil. God never thinks evil about you. His plans are always for good to give you hope in your final outcome. I'm talking to somebody today. You're wondering, what is my life about? Is this what life is all about? Is this what my life would amount to? No, my dear friends, there is more. God sees only big plans and big ideas wrapped up in you and you are going to attract the very best of life. I pray that this is helping you today have a better understanding of what God thinks of you. The final outcome is you are winning anywhere. So you must well smile and enjoy the ride and know that you have already won. Hallelujah. You have already won. Uh, is this helping you? I pray today, as you're hearing it, all of the negative thoughts from the past, all of the mistakes you've made, just disappear, just fade away from you. You begin to look ahead with a new and a glorious future that God has made available for you. So, is this helping you? His plans for you are all good. His plans for you are all good. So, yesterday, we started talking about um, we're looking at a scripture about shining forth. We're looking at what that meant. We went to 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. 
it tells you a, an amazing passage. Listen, it says, but you, I'm talking to you, are a chosen generation. It, not just a generation, you just happen. You didn't just happen. You are God's choice. Think about that. Of all of this, you are the chosen generation. You are the demonstration generation, the Jesus gener generation. You are the victorious generation. You are part of an uncommon team. You are part of something so incredible. Begin to believe that. Begin to believe that right now, where you are, regardless of your situation, God has chosen you. You are his choice. You are his choice. I think about in Acts chapter 22, in verse 14. Let's see whether we can get there and come back to it. Because something beautiful is going to happen. A royal priesthood you are. Acts chapter 22, in verse 14. It says, He said, The God of our fathers has chosen you that you should know his will oh i love that you should know his will his will is not a mystery his will is what i'm reading to you opening up the will and reading that to you he thinks of good things to give you hope in the final outcome it says and that you will know his will so you don't have to struggle in life and wonder what this life is going to be all about you never have to think about those things you never have to worry about those things you can just think about how good god is and you go about enjoying the very best that god has now see this it says and that you will see the just one you will see him hallelujah i pray that he comes and visits you in your home, in your room, or wherever you are, even in your workplace, you can behold him. You can see him in his glory. Hallelujah. Hear what it says. And you should hear the voice of his mouth. You should hear the voice of his mouth. What does that mean? It simply means now you and God are walking close by. You can hear the voice of my mouth if you're not around me. In other words, God has become your companion. God has become your, your lifelong uh, part. You're, you are part of him. He's a part of you. You are his masterpiece. And you are called to do great things. You're called to do extraordinary things. That's what I'm calling you, I'm talking to you about. The Bible says, you should hear the voice of his mouth. And let's keep reading the next verse. Verse 15 tells you this. I pray this was helping you. You are waking from your slumber. You're waking from the past pain. You're getting out of that place and you're about to shine. Are you with me? For you shall be, wow, his witness unto everybody of what you have seen and heard you oh my goodness i just feel like running around right here you shall be a producer of what you have seen and heard i was talking yesterday that you are god's live stream you live stream god god lives in you you are containing god Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 6. We're going to come back to this. Hallelujah. It says, amazing. It says, for God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness now shines in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. What do we call a live stream? What is a live stream? A live stream is simply light streaming out light shining out what we call pictures is photo light 40s old light beams coming out to you that's what it is it that god is light and he is coming out of you and you are now live streaming god to the world for god who command the light to shine out of darkness that same god the source of light he is light now is shining in your heart he shine in your heart, live streaming himself. 
to give the light of the knowledge as people are looking at you of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. And verse 7 says, For we having the treasures in earthen vessels, so that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Are you with me? You begin to think, you begin to talk, and begin to act like God will act. Without fear, with boldness, not afraid and like a caring slave, but like a son or like a daughter that knows that they are loved. When you know you're loved, you can jump off the trampoline and know that your father will catch you. You begin to do invincible things. You begin to do bold, courageous things because you know your father is watching over you. In other words, you begin to break records. You begin to explore what all of life is, the possibilities that is in life. You begin to run and you never get tired. Are you with me? There are things and dimensions of what God is doing today. There are things and dimensions. I'm talking to you about that you are live streaming God to the world. I think about all the countries we've been to in Finland. We were in a place called Uvescula and the stadium. Uvescula, big stadium, miracles happening. And all I could think about was this little, little guy from Africa, from a town called Ikom in Cross River State, Nigeria, going to Finland. I had read about Finland as a little boy. But here I was in Finland with the place packed out and the miracles are happening. We went to Tampere, amazing miracles. We went to many, many places in Finland. We were in, in Helsinki, right in the ice palace. And all I can think about, why would all those people that don't look like me come there? Because they came to see God in action. You are live streaming God to your world. You are the objects of his love. And he has put the treasure in you so that you can live stream, live stream him. In other words, you become a conduit for God to be seen. The coming attraction of all that God has for people is seen when you speak to them. Are you with me? I hope this is helping you today. Hallelujah. You see, you understand that God is at work in you. God is at work in you both to do, to will, and to do of his good pleasures. Isn't that what uh, Philippians 2 verse 13 tells you? It tells you, verse 14, you go there, it tells you, God is the one working in you. When God is working in you, light always attracts as you let the light so shine. Something happens if, uh, if you're in a dark room and the television turns on. Everybody's drawn to the television to see what's happening or to the iPad. Whatever, whatever light source is there, the people are attracted to it. Are you with me? For it is God who is at work in you, both to will, both to do of his good pleasures. Do you know God is doing his good pleasure? His good pleasure he is pleasuring himself by streaming out of you. You are God's TV, God's channel. You are the practical. No wonder the Bible says you are a living Bible. When people see you, don't get religious. Just get into the God dimension. Love people, live people. Don't try to condemn people. The devil does that pretty well. You don't need to join the devil in that effort. You just join with God and set them free and give them good news and they can make the world a better place. And then, see, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. It doesn't belong to the devil. You see, they call the devil the God of this evil age because he stole that from, he stole this world from Adam and Eve. But thank God, Christ has redeemed us from that curse. Christ has redeemed us from that curse. Hallelujah. I say, Princess Rick, I say I'm so bright, you need glasses to look at me. <laughs> I think that's true. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
I'm talking about when God begins to come and streams himself out of you. It is God at work in you, but to will and to do of his good pleasure. Let me tell you something. When God begins to stream out of you, if your body was sick, if your body had broken down, new life will come to your bones, to your nerves, to your mind. You begin to think free. You wouldn't have all this, you know, uh, schizophrenia. You don't have any of those things that the world always talk about because light also heals. Light, when it shines through, it brings a healing quality. That's why they tell it is nothing that disinfects like sunshine. But we have a greater light than the sun. The light of the glory of God. He shines in your heart to give the light of his knowledge. God who is light now shines through you who is light. No wonder the Bible says, I looked to him and I was radiant. And we were lightened. Psalms 34 verse 5. And I came alive. And our faces were not ashamed. In other words, instead of shame, God wants to give you glory. He covers you with his glory so that you can shine forth for the world to see. It doesn't matter. I know some people say, well, we are battling witchcraft. And this one has said this about me. Today it ends. I believe no witch doctor, no witchcraft, no devil in hell, even Satan himself cannot stop you. I know he is defeated. I've heard a lot of people tell me, well, this witchcraft in this part of the world is strong. Listen to me. It's the original demon. It's the original principality. You come from above and you are above all. Those demons can't stop you. Circumstances cannot stop you because you are soaring now on eagle's wings. Do you realize what God thinks of you? God thinks of you as the very best. You are his masterpiece. You are his masterpiece. Start thinking and talking and acting like God will act. So the Bible says you are his masterpiece. And let's, go, let's back, back up a little bit. The Bible says you are a chosen generation. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9. You are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood hallelujah it says you are a holy nation a holy a set apart nation that's what it means not a religious nation a holy the word holy means set apart for something extraordinary you are part of something absolutely extraordinary do you realize that the fact that you're listening to me today tells me you are born for something extraordinary don't settle for the small things that people always talk about no don't do that people are always talking about well I just I just want to get well I just want to get no you are containing God you are full of God I, are you with me Maybe your knees are hurting. Maybe your back is hurting. As you're hearing this, the fire of God, the healing power of Jesus is coming to your back, to your knees, and is causing life to flow out of you. As you move your legs, the pains are disappearing, and all of the, the damaged nerves are completely healed because you are operating by different rules. Are you with me today? Are you catching on to what I'm saying? You begin to operate totally different from what people are used to because you are his masterpiece. You are his masterpiece. What am I saying? I'm talking about shining forth. God at work, life streaming himself through you. The Bible, let's look at a scripture in 1 Peter 2, 9 again. It says, you are a holy nation. A peculiar people. A peculiar. Peculiar. What does it mean, peculiarity? To be peculiar means you are so unique that you're a masterpiece. You are so amazing that the world is still reeling from just your exposure to them. They said, I've never seen a movie like you. <laughs> Am I talking to somebody today? You begin to find out nothing can stop you. You are going, you begin to believe and think and act first class because you know you're first class. You are in the class 
of the being that God is. You are in the God class. You are of the God type. You are operating like your father. You're operating first class like God. Never you settle for what the animal throw, to, throw at you to, to make you forgo the real you. Are you with me? You are shining for There is something on the inside of you that is streaming out. That is streaming out. It's coming out of you. Isaiah 60 verse 1. It says, Arise and shine, for your light has come, for the glory of the Lord is reason upon you. It is reason upon you. It is streaming, one translation puts it. I think the Living Bible translation says, It is streaming out of you. It is streaming out of you. And the Bible says that the righteous shall shine. The righteous shall shine like the famines. You shine like the famines. Hallelujah. You are shining today. Are you with me? Are you with me? My prayer to you, for you today is to realize what God sees in you. Hallelujah. I said to you the other day, I said, be the one who gets things done. Be the sun that shines on everyone. Be the fun that shuns the enemy hallelujah be the fun that shuns the enemy be the one that tells the the enemy he is defeated be the one are you with me be the restorer hallelujah i haven't i haven't even finished that part of the message are you with me hallelujah the bible declares i, I want to get get down and share some of the things that came since talking to you yesterday i said that you contain god you house god and god is streaming out of you god is shining forth out of you let's go to first peter 2 verse 9 it says you are peculiar people and it says to show forth to show forth the praises to show forth the praises of him that has called you out of darkness. In other words, you are a work and a showpiece. <laughs> what does it mean? You are so brilliant that God is putting you on display. So the world will see and marvel and say, what kind of person are you? You are extraordinary. That's what God is saying to you today. Are you with me? It says, to show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. I pray that this is helping you. I see uh, Cornelia, oh, I can't wait to come to Germany. I miss my German family. You guys are so amazing. We have a long history with Germany. What a beautiful nation. Now, I'm talking about what it means to shine forth. Hallelujah. What does it mean to shine forth? And I was telling you yesterday to show forth, to show forth, Isaiah 60 verse 1, it tells you, for the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Verse 2, it says, darkness has covered the earth and even greater darkness. Gross darkness the people. But then it tells you, and it says, but the Lord shall arise. The Lord shall arise. The God that re releases light, light radiating out of him, that God shall arise. Hallelujah. The Bible says, let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Be scattered. That's what it says. It says, but the Lord shall arise upon you and his glory shall be seen upon you. I'm talking to people that are live streaming God. What does it mean? I told you, it says, you shall shine forth. Verse 7 of that scripture tells you. It goes to the part, second part, the second part of verse 7. It tells you this. And it says, they shall come up with acceptance on mine altar, and I will glory the house of my glory. The house that carries my glory. The house 
that carries my glory. Do you know you are God's house? You are God's field? You are God's building? You are the house that carries the glory of God? And when you go out there, just smile and God streams. Just touch and God streams. There is an attraction about you that you don't know yet. The more you're looking into it, the better you show and you see things. Hallelujah. You are streaming God every day with your touch, with your words, with your smile, with, with your embrace. When you do that, all those that come around you are changed. It's Wow Wednesday. Wednesday. What does it mean? The wonders of his ways, his words, and his, his wisdom, and his welcome. Hallelujah. Are you with me? God is at work in you. You said, but you don't understand. I've been through all of this. You know, I've been through battles. Listen to me, my dear. Listen, you've been through battles, but thank God you're still here. And that tells me you have already won. Lift up your eyes and see. Lift up your head and see. That's what it says in verse 3, I believe. In verse 3 of Isaiah 60, it says this. I want you to see what it says. It tells you what to do. It said, the Gentiles shall come to your light and the brightness of your eyes. And let's go to the next verse. Hallelujah. I want you to see. Now, verse 4 says, lift up your eyes round about you and see. Oh my goodness, I love the word. Lift up your eyes round about you. Lift up your eyes. Don't look at your circumstances. Look up. When you look up, you are chained by what you see. When you look around you, you can be depressed. When you look at your past, you can be in distress. But when you look up, you will be impressed. That's all you have to do. Look up. Look up. You see, look beyond the clouds. Look beyond those things. If you can look, don't look at the mud. Don't look at the rain. Don't look at all the things that's happening around you. Look up and see. The sun is shining. Hallelujah. The sun is still shining. No matter what you've been through, God is at work in you. Believe that today. Why am I saying this? The word of God is alive. You are the house of his glory. Never you rewrite your tragedy, your theology to fit a tragedy. Never you rewrite your problems, you know, your, 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 your believing system, your belief to accommodate your mistakes and your, your, your failures. No, change your failures to success. Let the word of God come alive. The Bible says the word of God cannot be bound. It says that the word of God prevails. It grew mightily and prevailed. Let the word grow on the inside of you. When the word of God is growing on the inside of you, it releases the energy of God. Hallelujah. God's atomic power. It comes, the dunamis power begins to flow out of you and tremendous things. It creates change around you. You are emitting God. You are streaming God. The glory of God is streaming out of you. Are you with me today? Begin to see those things. I look at my body when I'm getting tired. I command my body to adjust. And it gets energized again. Because I see what God sees. And I do what he does. Because I, I know what he knows. He has given me his mind. I have the mind of Christ. Never you apologize for having such a, an intimate relationship with the Lord. Never you be, be intimidated by people to make you feel you don't qualify to be with the Father that loves you. How religious people make it look like oh, they are the only chosen frozen, you know, the chosen frozen. You know, th those are the ones that feel that nobody can come close to God because they are so close to God. My goodness. Now, listen to me. I'm not close to God. He lives in me. How close can he be? I am his house. <laughs> I'm not close. To be close means there is still some distance. We have become one. I don't know me without knowing him. He doesn't know himself without knowing me. We are all one. That there may be one as father. You are in me. I am in you. We are one. I don't think any different. 
Every time I look at people, I think about what God thinks of them every single moment. Everyone that comes into my screen, anyone that comes to my thought, all I'm thinking about is what God thinks of them. Even including those that lie about me, say things about me, I cannot have a thought to think any different. I'm not designed to hate. I'm not designed to hate people. I know one thing, and that is to become an expression of love. That's who you are. That's the amazing person that you are. Are you with me? I'm telling you this so that you know what God thinks of you is ab absolutely amazing. And Rekha says you are, you, you are infused with the life of God. Hallelujah. You, you, you're so full of life on the inside. Listen, every day, put that beautiful smile on and let the world See Jesus' life streamed out of you. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Hallelujah. You are communi communicating God. And I said yesterday, I think a lot of you missed it. F-O-R-T-H. And I, start, I, I said it forward first. And then I reversed it a second time and a third time. And I think a lot of you missed my points. Let me give them to you again. I said, fine, f Find what God said about you. Embrace it. The good things in you that God has spoken concerning you. Find it out. Go to the word and find what it says. You are more than a conqueror. That the greater one dwells in you. You are a partaker of the inheritance in the saints. Begin to go. Find out all the good stuff that God says about you. You are royalty. You are a royal priesthood. You are a holy nation. Are you with me? Hallelujah. You are God's own people called to show forth a peculiar person, a unique being, a masterpiece in nature. Go and enjoy that. Go and make that discovery and start recovering today. What am I saying? Find what God has said about you. Oh, operate. Your operation operate as if it's already happened don't go and say i'm waiting for god to do this and a lot of people have been paralyzed by too much analysis the paralysis of analysis you've heard that said before you get to a place where you're overthinking instead of acting i stopped thinking a long time ago what do you mean when i'm coming to you i don't think i just let the spirit of my father speak to you I jot down a few things just to trigger something he's spoken to me during the two, three, four, five minutes before I come to you. What am I saying? I stop thinking he is my head. He does the thinking. I just take on his thoughts and make them mine. And I release it and my world become like his. I am the demonstrator of his realities. When he sees me, he sees his possibilities. Do you realize what that means? He sees what is possible hallelujah when i look at him i see my possibilities when he looks at me again he sees his reality he, he can't wait for me to act like him and he tells people in heaven i knew charles would get it hallelujah i knew charles would get it hallelujah i see pastor happy and pastor denise i miss you guys <laughs> i'm talking about when god uses you and you can live stream God to your world you are God's live stream that means you are streaming him live every single moment by how you expressing him to your world that's what I'm talking about hallelujah and pastor happy and pastor Denise you guys have been doing an amazing work right in that beautiful nation of Grenada you guys are doing an amazing work Keep up the good work. I am so proud of you guys. The family is behind you guys. We are so proud of what you guys are doing there. Hallelujah. We love you. Hallelujah. And uh, hey, you guys got to come back to power school. It is happening. COVID has nothing on us. We have expanded. We are growing. We are excited. God is doing big things. And we are doing big things. You can't fail to come. I said, find what God has said about you. Operate as if it's already happened. An R is reach out to get God's best. In other words, if God says it, 
that's good enough for me. That's the best. I am going to be his best so that I can be his best. What does that mean? Number four, transmit the same thoughts that God has into your actions and radiate that, emit that to your world. What does that mean? Transmit, don't just take that knowledge and have God wrapped around in the flesh and boxed up because you're trying so hard to be spiritual. Listen to me, I say to you, I never try to be spiritual because I'm born of the spirit. I just have to live in the spirit and walk in the spirit and stay in the spirit 24 seven. When I'm eating, when I'm eating some peanuts and some bananas, I am still in the spirit. When I'm eating some pounded yam and some nice Nigerian food, I am in the spirit. When I'm playing basketball, I don't stop being in the spirit because I am playing. I don't go in. I don't visit the spirit realm. I live there. I just visit the physical realm. Think like that and transmit the same to your world. We just came back from a place. There's an attraction about us that people cannot help but talk to you. Oh my goodness, you understand what I'm talking about. You are full of the life of God. God is at work in you both to will and to do of his good pleasures. Are you with me? Transmit the same. You've got to get God out of you. Some people said, I want more of you. No, you don't need more of God. He is already in his fullness in you. You've got to get the fullness out. Of his fullness have we received so freely have you received now you freely gave let the world see Jesus operating in you hallelujah are you with me <laughs> oh my goodness we are going to be having an amazing time the, the the embassy in Dubai is coming along just fine exciting days for those of you watching from the UAE get ready the embassy is coming to stay hallelujah get yourself ready it we are coming we are not going we don't need to apologize for taking over because God says to us go into all the world I give you my world and we're gonna build satellite stations everywhere for good news to come out and help a hurting world that is our mission we do that because he is at work in us I can do those things because his mighty energy is at work in us I can do all things through Christ who energizes me. Energy, God's energy coming out of you to the world, energizing you, strengthens you, empowers you. It moves you to make the world a better place. Now, radiate that, emit that, transmit that. Get it out there so that the world can see. You know, instead of acting like somebody that, you know, some people say, well, you know, I'm Italian. That's how we act. Stop that. Oh, I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> I'm always this. I'm a Nigerian. I'm from South Africa. This is how we Kenyans do it. This is how we uh, Danish people. You are not from Denmark. You are from above. You just happen to land in that country. Let the world see heaven. I say to you, you are God's movie on the earth you are live streaming him every single day do you realize that you are live streaming him every single day are you with me you transmit god into nature go and oh my goodness i i, I like i like where where we are you, you sometimes just stand over the uh, over the balcony and see the deer walk right in front of you they are unafraid Today, we saw, um, Pastor Dada saw a gutter snake. Just standing, the snake was right next to her and was not moving. The snake doesn't even bite us. <laughs> you know, Africans are like, Africans are like right now, I'll kill that snake, that's the devil. <laughs> the gutter snake, it was just there laying there unconcerned. The other day, we saw, uh, Pastor Dada saw some possum next to her. They didn't move. They just, they just love the atmosphere of the glory. The other day, I think about a year and a half ago, a fox just walked right in front of me. Wasn't afraid. It's almost like saying, hello. <laughs> when love is in the place, it rules as king. 
When love is coming out of you, it all of a sudden, all the animals behave themselves. <laughs> it's so amazing. It's so amazing. Even the animals respond to love. They respond to the nature of God being transmitted into it. And Princess Rekha will remember, remember we went to Mama Charity's house in Abuja, Nigeria, and when those bulldogs were just being very aggressive to her, and I just told the bulldogs, I never met them before, big bulldogs. I said, now, be quiet, sit down. And they just sat down quietly, and they're looking up like that. Why? Because I'm not afraid of anything. Why? I am his masterpiece. Hallelujah. I am his masterpiece. I, I see all kinds of animals. In fact, sometimes, sometimes I think nature has been waiting for the real people that can show God to come and it will blossom again. You can tell the proof. Whenever you come to a place, do things die when you come there or do things begin to grow, begin to grow so lusciously? I mean, it's luscious greens and everything. That tells you there is something in, in you that is of God called the life of God that's being transmitted into nature to give it life. What is life? That which is of God that has been transmitted into nature to cause it to come alive. That is what life is. It, it means there is something you're carrying that is waiting to be emitted, to be transmitted into the world. You touch the sick and they get, get, they get healed. You talk to the blind and the eyes recover. That is the nature of God at work in you. That's what I'm talking about. Hold it for. Translate, transmit it into your environment, into your world. And then, number five, hold it forth for the world to see. Lift him up and let the world see the wonders of Jesus at work in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, when you start seeing those things, this is not religion, or religion doesn't care about those things. Uh, we, were, we were in, uh, I believe, in uh, Belgium or the Netherlands. We're in the Netherlands. And uh, this people, <laughs> this beautiful people in the Netherlands, they were bringing a lady brought her horse to the service for healing. <laughs> oh my goodness. She brought her horse and the horse got healed. And her own brought her dog and the dog got healed. God is the father of all creation. And he headquarters himself in you. In Africa, we just kill some of those things and eat them. <laughs> but they respond to you. They respond to you life on the inside you are live streaming god to your world you are the real god tv and god's channel you live streaming him to the world the world will see you shine forth hallelujah are you with me you are god's host of his content place him up lift him up and the world will see him every day i pray you got something are you excited about this? I am so excited. Oh my goodness. I can't wait for Wow Wednesday. You begin to learn something new. We have Wisdom Wednesday tonight for those that can watch in the evening. We're going to be back. But I want to give you an opportunity. Today is a new day. You are ready for something big. We're going to give you an opportunity to be a partner with us. A lot of you have become partners with us. And we are so thankful to God for you supporting us. And really... We, we use our equipment every day. You guys know that. We're always running this equipment and everything. Sometimes, you know, technical things, they have the, the law of use. We're using it after a while, they will begin to break down and things. We want to just upgrade one or two things and really keep this coming to you for free. Why? Because you can be blessed watching this. Think about the millions that can be blessed. Very soon, our network is up and running. We're going to be on Roku TV, Amazon Fire. We're going to be on, on um, also on Apple TV. That means we can reach in one go 110 million households. We want to get the word out. Let them get ready. We have a lot of things happening here. We want to make sure you can register for the Power School of Miracles. It is not a school. It's an experience. You need to register for the Power School of Miracles. It is going to be absolutely amazing. From the 19th 
to the 25th of July. And it's about two months time, less than two months. You want to register now to make sure your place is in that school. You need to register and then get yourself ready. It's, it's, that's how faith works. You cannot make excuses and take action. You can either do one or the other. If you want to come, if your heart desire to come, register, believe God for everything, and everything else will come. And Peju, I know you're watching. Maybe if we have, we have some time, we are going to do your testimony tomorrow. Is that okay? So let me know if you can do your testimony. We're going to bring you on, and then you can share something about what God has done. Hallelujah. What God has done for you concerning your amazing testimony. How you got all of the good stuff God gave you. Hallelujah. And I know you're going to be here for the power school handling the same business, talking about it. But I would like you to say, <laughs> you can give them a little tea. So won't you on the screen tomorrow, so you get yourself ready. We're going to make sure we make that available. Bring you on the screen and you can share your amazing testimony of what God did. You want to share. You guys, you have to stay tuned. You, you have to watch that tomorrow. It is amazing story of how God gave her full right to do her PhD in the United States. She lives in Nigeria. She, did, she has never traveled to this place, but God has given a favor and she is coming home. <laughs> I love it. And I, I thank God for all of you. You need to register for the Power School of Miracles and also... We have a lot of pri uh, uh, products you can avail yourself of and uh, want to make sure everything is coming through our television network. Um, one thing we want to do also, we are believing God for, we, you guys, we have this beautiful video mixer. We want to give you a better experience. We still need what we need for the jib. We need that, but we also need this video mixer. We cannot wait until we have one. We can get both at the same time because we want to keep this thing going. We're believing God for this amazing um, we believe God for this amazing mixer, video mixer. We can do eight cameras coming in at the same time. And it also have the ability to do the live stream at the same time. It goes right to the television network. It also goes right to uh, the, the social media network. And uh, we can do that at the same time with no issues. So we are believing God for that. It's about almost $5,000. We get that, get all the accessories that goes with it. The sound, let us know how the sound is. I want to be able to do that. So we get this thing done. You know the television is never inexpensive. It's very expensive because you have to get the quality out there to the people. So what we want you to do, you go to ChristLove.org and whatever God places in your heart, you want to sow an uncommon seed, let's get that going. You see, it's your assistance, your help that makes us bring this program to people all around the world for free it lifts people up you see you are watching it making it available to others they get to watch it too and then they get to experience what you're experiencing every single day so i, I want to pray that um that everyone that is sowing the god will enlarge our building your capacity to sow i know it's going to be amazing well, I want to thank you all that have joined me today. We're going to make sure we give you other options. You can go to Christlove.org, sow your seeds there. And also, we have the PayPal option. You want to do it today. You want to write your need and inbox it to us. We're going to pray for that need. We stand, we join our faith with you, and we're going to believe God. Whatever you're sowing that seed for, you will receive in Jesus' name. So you go to PayPal.me forward slash Charles and Devon. And that will be made available to you as soon as possible. We want to make sure we can pray with you. If you have the cash app option, we can go to the dollar sign, Charles and Devon, and you can see it's right on your screen. You can do that also. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I see Lorena say, I'm watching that I'm, I'm not well. My head and my stomach is acting up and um, raising my blood pressure. Sweetie, it goes right now. Just do this. That dizziness in your head goes. The blood pressure that was causing you to be dizzy goes down completely. Just do that right now. And as you do that, the blood pressure goes down completely. It is the force of God's goodness. As you do this, where you are, it goes down right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 That's what we are talking about. And uh, uh, share this with as many people as possible. Share it again. And if some of you, you can edit some short clips post it on all the social media, connect them back. I think Instagram, now we can go all the way 
to really publicize ourselves on Instagram. Get some of those clips, share with as many people as possible. It's going to be amazing. And I will be amiss if I don't wish Pastor Ellis Effa. Pastor Ellis, we want to say a big happy birthday. You're part of the Team 1000. We want to say we love you and we miss you. What an amazing woman hitting a milestone today, her birthday. She's 50 today, and it's a very young 50. You look like you're 20. Hallelujah. You look good, woman of God. We love you. You are vibrant, full of life, full of love. We are so happy that you are our family. Wherever, whenever you come to power school or we're back in Nigeria, you always keep things light and sweet. We love you so much, and thank you for being part of this amazing family. And uh, we're looking forward to something extraordinary happening we pray that god will expand your borders in jesus name if you go to ellis effa you give her some love today on uh, facebook instagram or go to prophet effa emmanuel you can also give us some love let her know that those of you watching daily boost are sending some love to her that are part of the um, love revolution and christ love family globally and the embassy family also let them know let her know that you really appreciate it here we celebrate people and we celebrate her majorly hallelujah so we want to thank god for everybody hallelujah if you also if you're making out a check make it out to christ love media p.o box 72800 providence rhode island 02907 we want to thank god for all of you that have been consistently consistent being partners with us at the embassy and also in everything we're doing it says oh, this is my head my head mental health is feeling not well apostle no matter what i try release healing and uh, what you're going to do is wait do this just release your hands the power of god is transmitted to you and your head clears up right now how is that it just something just left you completely it's completely gone wait how does it feel right now hallelujah Hallelujah. How does it feel? Do what I say. Hallelujah. I thank God for all of you, Alexander and Frida, and all of you guys. I know Apostle Andreas and Pastor Martina will be watching later. I want to say we love you. And the team all around the world want to say you guys are amazing. You make loving easy. You make the gospel sweet to people. Keep that up. And I can't wait to see you guys tonight and tomorrow on another edition of your daily dose of your daily dose. God bless you, and I'll see you later.